and welcome to another edition of Hope Healthy Living. Today we have a special, you know, uh, surprise for you. I'm going to welcome my co-host. Hi, everybody! You miss me? Great. How are you? I'm great. Good. And we have a special guest today. This is 13 years old. Smart tech, yes. tech guy. Tech guy. He's the one behind the camera. He's in charge of editing. And what else? Um, he's in charge of posting our videos. Yes. So he's our engineer. And he is here with us today. Hi. Hi. Nice to be here on Envision Hope. Usually I'm just behind the camera, so I apologize if I'm not as loud as I should be, but I'll do my best. Great. Thank you. So, you know, when we started EnvisionHope.com, uh, I was wondering, you know, what can we bring, you know, that other people are not doing already, you know? And then I was researching and reading about, you know, just how we can go about showing people what we do. And someone uh, who is very, you know, knowledgeable in blogging and just starting, you know, small business said, you know, don't worry about, you know, if millions of people are doing it already. Somewhere there is one person who can relate with your experience. There is one person who likes what you will be telling them or who wants to try what you're doing. So there's always room for everyone, right? So we all believe that we have stories, right? We have stories to tell. And today we're bringing to you a beautiful story. EnvisionHope.com is proud to tell you that our tech guy Kev has built his first computer and he built a PC from the parts he was able to buy. So we are going to ask few questions you know as parents we want to encourage our children especially when we are on a limited budget. It is a challenge you know for kids unlimited budget to have the opportunity to explore their full potential but you know bringing this story to you is a proof that you know you don't know just keep encouraging your child and they will find a way to show the world what they are capable of so without further you know explanation let's dive in so my co-host is going to ask the first question. The question is, how long did it take you to save up for the amount that is your PC? Well, as of now, this whole PC costed $300. And while I do have a definitive upgrade path in the future plan for this, for now, this costed $330. And that, that took me working under Envision Hope. It took me a total of 10 months. 10 months. Great. Wow. Wow. You know, besides school, it took him 10 months to research and be able to know exactly what he needed. And, you know, we might think it's not a big deal, but I was 13 years old and I would never have dreamed of, you know, doing something like that. So I'm very uh, impressed. I am. And another question I have for you is definitely about, you know, how were you able to keep track of the parts that you needed, you know, without, further, without training, without being in a computer school? How were you able to keep track of the things you needed? Well, I mean, the parts for a computer is not actually that extensive. You have the CPU, the brain of the computer, the motherboard, which houses the CPU and basically brings everything together. A nice case, but that's not as important. A good stable power supply, optionally graphics card if your C 
CPU has no integrated graphics. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not really that extensive of a list. So I just use PC Park Picker to check all the compatibility. Exactly. That would have been my second question. <laughs> really? Yes. I was thinking, you know, how do you know that these parts will fit, you know? Well, yeah, PC Park Picker is a really great website that just helped me check all of the compatibility, though of course I do recommend that you check the compatibility yourself on top of that to just double check to make sure that um, everything works. Like for this computer, I originally got the motherboard because it was a cheap, stable motherboard which fit my needs since I wasn't planning on overclocking my CPU. Yes. So to fit that, I should basically just chose this motherboard. But what I'm not accounted for was the fact that not all motherboards have Wi-Fi enabled. So I had to end up buying a Wi-Fi adapter after we had already bought all the other parts in order to have full Wi-Fi on it. Wow, great. You know, I don't think I can understand everything he is saying, but I'm sure, you know, it's just... Um, some details that <laughs> maybe if you're really interested you'll be able to do more research and know more about it but you know this is a product of you know just being focused being able to stay on task you know and I would say you always have to have that will right you have the will of you know trying something and it's not easy I have to admit it, but you know, this is a proof. This is a living proof that if you stay on task, you stay focused, you have school, and besides school, you find a hobby. And for him, for 10 months, he was really engaged with uh, the research and was able to do that. And this is also the moment when we appreciate the work that teachers do, right? Because it doesn't just happen in one day. You have to have good teachers. And I'm sure, you know, um, for many years, his teachers were able to show him, you know, uh, that there are so many things you can explore, right? Can you speak to that? I mean, have you been inspired by a teacher? Besides your normal, you know, reading math, because all of this, well, you know, these are like components, right? They help you being able to read and understand what you were doing. So this is the work of your teachers, right? But I want to know if, you know, coming back particularly to this project, were you inspired by someone or has, you know, something that a particular teacher, specific teacher has said or do have done have been able to inspire you well yeah i mean all of my teachers left a lasting impact on me and i really enjoyed all of the stuff they taught me mm -hmm. and the main reason why i actually built this computer was because i was going into i'm going into high school this year and I mean, it's just pr more practical to have your own personal PC yeah, than a laptop with it being substantially more powerful and much cheaper. Yes. So that and was my idea behind making a computer. Good. And I know um, you... I have a question. Oh, sure. Um, so... Speak loud so the people at home can... I speak. would have been, like, really, like, iffy about it, like, trying to make something so well something so important mm -hmm. it would be like it would have been super um like super just a waste of money if it like didn't work i do have to admit that you know uh for some time i didn't believe he was going to be able to put that together but you know uh you always i think towards the end when he was actually looking for the parts online that's when i realized that he knew what he was doing and i started having faith you know so at the beginning no none of us not my husband well, I, I i 
thought he would do it because he's um, really smart. And yes. um, if it's something that he wants to do himself, he's more focused on it. Yes. Well, now I can realize that I was wrong at the beginning. I just thought, you know, well, let him try, but I'm not sure he will. <laughs> and, you know, and I have to apologize, you know. I started believing and supporting you more when you started looking at the parts online. When you were actually like, I'm going to do it. Yes. When, uh, I'm serious you, about it. Yes. And now let's come to the budget, you know. Can you, do you have a question about the budget? Um, the question is, how much do you get in like a week, a day, or a month? Well, working for a Vision Hope has its perks, like the fact that since it's not like, we're not as You have to busy speak a little bit loud so people we can We don't hear you. have a definitive work day, like a place like an actual job, but it still pays okay i get paid by the month and my boss is nice she's great just trying to make the world a better place and i appreciate that the money thank is, you is welcome too thank you and you know let me translate that for you <laughs> so he helps me with the back end of my website envisionhope.com it's a teamwork we are a team everyone is involved and so because he helps me put the information he's a tech guy engineer and he gets an allowance right you want your children to know the value of money right you cannot just give them money if For not, no reason yes i mean it's okay if you can you know once in a while but yeah. it's better to tell a child or you know to tell your son or your daughter if you are completing this task every week you know it can be uh, cleaning the house or taking the trash out or maybe helping me with the computer I will give you an allowance of five dollars per week you know it's not a lot of money but in the end it adds up and this is the proof he was able uh with forty dollars a month for maybe how many months i'll say around six seven months you did use a little bit of money for a gift for your birthday but he was able to do um to buy the parts you know with the money that he earned so uh, that's the translation of what he was trying to tell you <laughs> so Another question would be the safety, you know, I was a little bit worried about, you know, putting parts together and I know that when you started doing it, you specifically asked for, you know, not to wear a loose fitting clothes. So can you explain to us how you were able to take all the precautions that and I went why, through? why, why, what's the reason of not wearing loose clothes? Yes. So. Honestly, quite frankly, building a computer, the odds of you getting injured from it, the probably the most dangerous thing in here was peeling back the metal on the IO shield, if I'm being quite frank. Everything else was quite safe. You're more likely to damage the parts than you are to injure yourself. The reason I didn't wear baggy clothes was because I was trying to prevent static electricity mm -hmm. and that along with using the power supply as a grounded spot for me to discharge this static electricity as I was building the computer. Good. And uh, what are the grounding, uh, how can I say, process that you have to go through without, uh, beside the, the clothes? Uh, you know, when you were working with the power, what did you have to do first? Well, that's why ahead of time I installed the power supply ahead of time of building the computer as you can see in the video we are going to be publishing soon where we show all the most of the steps where I actually built the computer. But I installed the power supply ahead of time so I could use it as a grounder by plugging it into the outlet but keeping it shut off. Good. Well, thank you for, you know, uh, that explanation and so we are going to show the videos of 
you know how he's able to how he was able to build with the help of my co-host right just a, little. just a little great great and the reason why we're doing this today is just you know to show you at home that you know it is good to encourage our children you know we as parents and educators and you know especially during this time it's summer the kids are at home um, it might not be building a computer it took 10 months so it's not a two days project it could it's, be even designing clothes yes like from little girls I can imagine you like um, uh, designing clothes for your dolls yes definitely great great yes you know, and that would be something you can start and within two or three months you can actually have a portfolio of, you know, the many designs that you have. And, and it could be photography, right? You know, nowadays so many kids have the camera. You can just choose to go out, you know, bird watching and take pictures. Especially if you live in like Washington DC, places with real, really capturing images. Well, even in your backyard. Mm -hmm. Remember mm -hmm. yesterday we were out playing tennis and there was, what, five or six deer just about a few feet from us. Now, if you had a camera and you're taking pictures of nature like that, you know, I mean, at the end of the month, you have something that it's, you know, occupying your mind so you're not just, uh, playing video game and of course you should play video game from time to time he does <laughs> someone is smiling so I'm not going to elaborate but you know you still have to have your own time where you do something that you like but find something else you know that's gonna build your potential you, you know that's gonna add something to what you are capable of doing and you know I, we really appreciate that he was able to do that and we hope that by doing this uh program today we're really you know helping another kid at home or maybe you know give an idea to another parent that you know it's a good thing to encourage your kids to explore their full potential he we knew he loves to build stuff with his hand and so it was something that we always encourage and now i think we are going to let him turn it on and kind of show us you know a little bit more okay so is that something that you can do now of course hi so right now we're just going to be putting in the atx power connector and all the other cables and making sure that they all fit in nice and snug most of these cables though some of them however we won't actually be able to use in this build because they're not built for this motherboard so those will kind of just be extra parts that we'll be tucking up here in our optical drive bay okay Bell number seventeen. Say the cables. So now I shall be introducing you guys to my computer, a Roswell SRMB01B case, 
nice TV screen for the monitor so I can have a higher resolution. And this is the BIOS of the computer right now. So this is not Windows 10. This is where I can regulate all of the minimal factors of the CPU and stuff from how fast the CPU is running mm -hmm. to the fan speeds and voltage, boot, drive, priority, all of that stuff. Okay. It can also edit the time if I wanted to on the base system functions. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'm actually going to be having it boot to Windows 10 now. And I have a question. So during the whole process, did you find it challenging or was it really easy? Was it, you know, compared to what you were expecting? In terms of making the computer, the hardest part was probably screwing in the motherboard, but the most stressful part by far was holding the motherboard and putting it into the case. Yes, I... And installing the CPU because when I install the CPU in the socket, you have to push that on the lever to tighten it into place. But for me, I don't want to break anything, so I'm kind of just sitting there like, do I push it down or not? Because I know you're supposed to push it down, but I'm scared because I'm feeling the resistance. Great. I know you have, you needed pearl help to screw some of the things you needed to screw. Well, you don't really need a person's help as much as it's just a lot more convenient. Yes. Especially with like the screwdriver I was using was a lot larger than I was than it was recommended. Mm -hmm. So I needed probably to hold everything in place a lot of times. Especially, and Pearl's hands are small, so she can actually put her hands further into the case. Great. Well, that was a teamwork, or you know. Up the lighting. Yes, it's all about teamwork. And so, what is your yeah. what is your next project? Do you know what you are trying to do next, or are you my still next thinking? Project. My next my next plans for the future are to build a home server for Envision Hope to solve our storage issues. Yes, because definitely. Now that we have multiple videos up on our channel. We now need a reliable way to store them and back them up besides just uploading them to YouTube Cloud. Well, thank you. And we our, really appreciate that. And I also want to build my little sister a computer and uh, get the RX 550 graphics card for this one. Oh, good job. Wow, that's quite a plan, right? Good. Yeah, Impressive. It's a work in Impressive. Right now. Yes. And so, my co-host, do you have any other question? Um, the only other question is that does it really matter how big your screen is? Because we can see this screen is like very big, yes, but it's still cutting off as you can see some of the print. So that is because this, at the end of the day, is a TV screen and it is not built for working on a computer. Oh, that's so a good you question. Can use the TV screen and it will not have any like long standing uh, rendering problems. Uh, it will cut stuff off. Okay. Windows tries its best to give you a resolution and screen size that will allow you to see as much as possible, but it, it's not perfect. Good. So do you have a specific monitor that you are looking you know, forward to buy? Because I know we are using that TV. Uh, I, do you know exactly what will work for that? Well, once I... I'm intending to just get a basic monitor, but once I actually get an actual proper graphics card, I intend to get two curved monitors mm -hmm. in my bedroom to work on because having two monitors, it just makes everything a lot easier. It makes it you, multitasking a lot easier and everything is just a lot better to work on. Well, thank you for all that explanation. We're going to wrap it up, right? Yeah. And we're going to make sure that we're posting, you know, some of those behind the scene uh, videos where you were trying to screw all these parts together. Very nice and impressive. So I'm just
just going to wrap up the show. So, as you can see, we have a computer through hard work, determination, and a whole lot of elbow grease. As you can see, you know, uh, we are very impressed. He was able to explain, you know, a little bit about the process and what it took to build the computer. We're going to post some of those information on our website, envisionhope.com, and hopefully you find it, you know, useful, you or someone else. So please uh, do not hesitate to leave us comments and what else. And thank you for supporting us. I'm going to let my co-host wrap up today's show. Also, down in the link in the description below, I shall be placing the link to the PC part picker list of all of the parts in this computer in case you ever want to build it. I shall put all the links in there along with inside PC part picker. It has all the links to the Amazon parts for if you want to buy that. Just know that the CPU is used, or well, it's new, but it was not from an Amazon retailer, so it may not, um, they may not have any. Okay, great. Well, and, and you know, remember how it took you weeks to make sure that these parts were available? So it's about yes, being patient. especially the cooler master and the light that was bought right before my very eyes. I was about to buy it. Mm. Yes. So, so upset about that. So you have to be it's patient. A nice case. Okay. So we're going to let our co-hosts wrap up. So I hope you like this video. We worked really hard on everything. And if you do, please share, subscribe, and leave a like. Check it out all of our videos they're super nice and natural and i just we all just hope you enjoyed them so 